absolutely savage. Okay, so in today's video, we are getting some more noise in the M140. I'm currently sat in Leeds city centre traffic, getting over to Wakefield to go and get this stuff done. Uh, but if you've been on my Instagram, I put a story up yesterday where I was trying to film in a car park. But unfortunately, there was a lot of workmen there and it was very noisy. Um, I talked about going over to Bath Motorsport, so BAF Motorsport, over in Horbury in Wakefield, to go and get a double resonator delete done. Now, as you can see, I'm in the car on the way there. I'm due there at 9 o'clock, and I think my estimated time of arrival is 9.02. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about getting some more noise out of these cars and some of the different options that you've got. Now, I'm going to try and get a before clip of when I get over there of how the car sounds, and then I'm going to talk to you about the different options you have, as well as giving you the update and, and what the car sounds like with the double resonator delete. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in that little bit of an intro there I talked about getting some more noise from the M140 and also talking about some of the different options you've got if you want these cars to be louder. Now on the screen will be a diagram of the M140 exhaust. As you can see I've highlighted two of the silencers or resonators or whatever you want to call them. They are the two that are coming out today. Now, from what I've experienced and what I've seen, these are supposed to give a bit of a deeper tone alongside some more pronounced cracks, pronounced pops, and some more noise when we're on full chat or when we actually have any throttle input. Now, as I mentioned, there are a couple of things that you can do. It's almost like a bit of a mix and match bag as to what people do. There's a guy called PCW, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what his company name is, and they do back box mods, and I'm not entirely sure what they do with that. I don't know if they gut it out and and sort of make it essentially hollow so you have more noise or if they just sort of cut into it, weld it and just make a little bit more air I guess or a little bit more airflow. Um, so you've got that option which a lot of people go for which a lot of people are very happy with. If you want a slight increase in sound the back box is probably the best way to start. The back boxes are pretty big on these cars so it does sort of mute them down a little bit. Um, but you do have some other options as well. So as I mentioned a little bit earlier, you can have a sort of pick and mix with these exhaust mods. So some people have one resonator out and then the back box mod done. Some people have both resonators out and the back box mod done. Some people just have the back box mod. Um, some people just have the resonators. But of course, I'm trying to I'm trying to take things into account because I will eventually get a downpipe for this car and I don't want it to be too loud. So I want the option of being able to put a resonator back in. But I also don't want to start modifying the back box. So when I do get to the point of actually putting a downpipe on, then it's too loud or too raspy. Um, so we're just gonna stick with the double resonators today. I'm just on the motorway now, so I'll catch up with you guys once we get to Bath Motorsport. If you guys have any questions, Sorry, there's a lot of traffic here. <laughs> um, if you guys have any questions about any of the, the sort of exhaust modifications, drop me a line on social media. Go speak to Bath Motorsport on Facebook or Instagram. It's a really, really good price to get these double resonators done compared to other places which I've actually inquired with. So, yeah, if you're interested in that, go check the links down in the description below. But I will catch up with you guys once I get over to the site.
update guys so I didn't get my camera out when we were getting the resonator delete done but as you can see behind me the car is coming down Chris has done a fantastic job with actually getting the tube to the to the oval size so if you didn't know I showed you the diagram a little bit earlier on but as it comes down from the down pipe it's a circular circular pipe the next part on from that is more oval for it to go underneath the car so that's now been done um, all welded up all ready to go the car's just going to come down I'm going to pop the GoPro somewhere so you can get some cold start noises and then when I'm on the way back we'll speak about it in the car but I will treat you guys to some tunnel runs guys so we've just left bath motorsport um the car is ridiculously loud i'm so happy with it a uh, big thank you to chris for being able to do it it's a good laugh it's nice to actually hear somebody talk about something that they're passionate about is moving uh it's moving units a couple of doors up it's much bigger it gives them much more space to do stuff we'll probably be going down once it opens just to go take a look around because even when i went in and it's, it's sort of i'll probably say a quarter of the way done now it's very impressive and for somebody who's sort of built a business by themselves all credit to Chris completely. You may have actually seen me and Chris looking at the BMW parts which came off of my car i.e. both silencers um, it's ridiculous how quiet they make the car like as soon as that first startup came it sounded absolutely savage and I wanted to go out and have a look at them parts that had come off just to see what was so special about them but credit to BMW for making them so efficient in making engines quieter but i am so happy with this um i'm actually going to be driving home now i'm just going to take a bit of a break i'll probably go get something to eat in the meantime and then what i'm going to do when i get closer to leeds or closer to my house is going to go through some tunnels listen to the pops listen to the way the car sounds um just in general it is much louder and chris who has just taken a video of me leaving then i'll probably post that up on instagram or facebook i'll see if i can get a copy of it and put it up that way it's an exterior shot. I did get a chance to actually film the before shots, so I will insert it, you've, you've already seen it by now anyway, I will insert the, the sort of video that I did when I picked up the car. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have a very enjoyable drive home. I'm going to catch up with you guys once it gets to some tunnels, once it gets closer to home. Um, and then we'll round the video out. So guys, I said I'd come back to you guys when I'm closer to Leeds. But just listen to this. Okay guys, so I'm probably 5 or 10 minutes away from home, I'm just going to come off the motorway to go under some tunnels to give you guys some sounds so you can hear it a little bit better. Um, quick bit of feedback though, so I've been driving on the motorway at 70 mile an hour, there's no drone whatsoever, so I'm in comfort mode now, the valves are shut, um, you, can't really, you can't really hear the car, you, you know, it's not, you wouldn't think that it's an M140i or an M140i with no silences in it. Um, of course when you put it into sports mode, the valves open. The pops and bangs on the overrun are a lot louder. Not too loud, but they're a lot more pronounced, let's put it that way. Now, Chris over at Bath actually used um, some 80mm 
stainless steel or it might be mild steel I'm not 100% sure uh, but 18mm fit it um, he actually made the oval shape fit very nicely into the stock system so you've not you know you've not got a flange or you've not got anything sort of over and above that um, absolutely top quality work he's a bit of a perfectionist uh, I could tell that just by just by when he was looking at the exhaust pipes he wanted to make sure they were banging the center just out a little bit and, and as it was when it came in um, again really highly recommend him it was a lot cheaper than a lot of other people when I was coming into this a lot of people just wanted to replace the mid pipe simply because of the the squashed oval pipe which makes sense because it's more or less work whichever way you look at it um, I'm just at some traffic lights now so I'll catch up with you guys when I get to the tunnel which is probably a quarter of a mile that way um, I'm gonna wind the window down it is a little bit windy but under the tunnel I shouldn't imagine it's too bad if I get a bit of space in front of me I'll put it into sports mode we'll listen to the acceleration if I've got enough room to be able to do it and then we'll listen to some of the overruns the crackles the pops and, and that side of things okay so we're just approaching the tunnel I'm trying to get a bit of space in front of me the windows open the tunnel's right ahead of me here so I'm gonna drop it down into second Absolutely savage. Like the way <laughs> the way the sound comes on when you're on full chat is unbelievable. And I must say that even normal acceleration, this car has become a lot more of a head turner. I was driving through Wakefield on the way back and I was in sports mode, you know, I'm, I'm like a little child with stuff like this. So I was driving along in sports mode, um, it was popping, it was cracking, and people were just like turning around wondering what it was. So it's a little less subtle than what it was, you know, it's not a Q car anymore. Can't rate the work that Chris has done highly enough, honestly. If you guys are in West Yorkshire and you want to go get some more noise from your M135i 240, 235 or 140, go and see Chris. Um, I'll drop a, I'll drop all of his Instagram links and Facebook links down in the comments below. If you want his number, um, get in touch with me on social media. I'm happy to pass it across to him, of course. I'll make sure it's alright with him first. But this is how the car should have sounded from factory that's it and anyway guys i'm a couple of minutes from home so i'm going to wrap the video up here i hope you have enjoyed it if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing this is the first thing of many that's going to happen to this car keep up to date with what i'm doing if you like the way the car sounds please drop a like down below comment what you've had done to your car if you've got one of these and of course as always i'll see you guys soon